Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sparkle Kavi. In today's video, I will be making a zipper pouch from leftover fabric. So uh, today we are going to make this type of zipper pouch with zipper on top and lining fabric inside. Uh, these are very easy to make. Uh, you can make them in different sizes and these are great for storing small stuff like your uh, sewing supplies or toiletry items and to make this pouch you don't need any fancy stuff just a sewing machine and a zipper foot which comes with every machine so without any delay let's make these pouches so uh, here I have these two fabrics uh, these are leftovers so uh, this printed fabric will I will use for uh, outer and uh, this solid for lining so uh, first we will cut our fabric so the this this fabric the leftover this fabric I will use to make zipper tabs so our fabric is ready uh, here two for outer and two for lining so I will quickly tell you how wide my uh, fabric is it's 9.5 inches wide and 7.5 in length so, now we will make our zippers you will need a zipper that is at least one inch shorter than the uh, how wide your fabric is so here our fabric is 9.5 inches wide so we will need at least 8.5 inch wide zipper so here uh, I have this 9 inches wide zipper but it's a uh, uh, small it's little bit short so uh, I will use these zippers which comes in yard we can directly attach the zippers to the pouch but adding tabs to them uh, it gives more nice look uh, so uh, here I will show you one example so in this pouch I attach zippers directly see it's not looking that much nice as these zippers comes in yard so we have to insert the pull zipper pull so now first I will insert zipper pull into the zipper now our zipper is in uh, inserted so uh, we will cut our zipper. and uh, I will cut it approximately one inch short so uh, here this is half inch and from this point so now our zipper is also ready now we will uh, uh, add tabs to them we need just two piece of fabric two strips so uh, in my previous video I have already shown two methods uh, for tabs you can check that video uh, I will give the link of that video in the description box hold this fabric like this and uh, uh, with right sides facing the zipper and use clips to hold the fabric now uh, we will uh, take this to our sewing machine and make a stitch quarter inch quarter inch uh, away from the edge on both sides uh, so I have given stitches on, on both sides now we will uh, give a stitch one eighth of an inch from top to bottom on both sides so uh, here I have uh, made top stitches on both the sides uh, you may not see uh, as I have used matching thread 
so see how nice our zipper is looking now we will attach the zipper to the fabric now take your fabric uh, one uh, outer fabric fold it in half make a crease then take your zipper fold it in half like this and uh, match both the seams uh, both the points you can mark these points also pin them then uh, we will add our this lining fabric like this and we'll pin all three layers together now we will head back to our sewing machine and we will give a stitch all the way down quarter inch away from the edge so uh, this is the zipper foot it is pretty much same for all the machines so uh, what this zipper uh, zipper uh, foot do is it fits nicely on the side of zipper and moves smoothly like this and gives a perfect stitch like this it will move like this and you will get a nice stitch so uh, we will attach this zipper foot to our machine so we will remove our regular foot and uh, attach this zipper foot so here it's attached now we will take our fabric then start stitching remove the pins while you stitch uh, if you are new and uh, not very much fami familiar with the uh, foot so go slowly remove the uh, pins You don't have to do anything. Uh, the zipper, ta uh, the zipper foot does all the work for you. And when the uh, this when you reach uh, the zipper pull, pull your uh, zippers out away from the foot. like this and arrange your zipper and fabric again now my zipper pull is here so it will not come in between uh, the stitching start your stitching again so it will look like this see we have attached our zipper on one side of fabric like this now we will add our second fabric to the other side of the zipper now take your outer fabric place the fabric with right side facing to the zipper use the pins then turn the fabric and place lining fabric
now we will give a stitch quarter inch away, uh, quarter inch away from this edge show you how it will look so this is our zipper and it's looking nice now we will give a top stitch on both the sides change your uh, footer from zipper foot to regular foot so that you will get a nice stitch Move your zipper pull away. So here I, we have successfully attached our zipper to the fabric. Uh, it will look like this from back. See? And from outside nicely overstitched, top stitched. This part is to assemble the pouch. Uh, open your pouch. First remember uh, make your zipper pulls in the uh, center and then match the lining fabric use pins match your outer fabric then we will do the markings on the fabric now make the markings from all the sides quarter inch away from the edge Just leave 2 to 3 inches opening on the lining fabric to turn this inside out and do all the markings. Now you can see I have made markings uh, left 2 to 3 inches for turning this inside out and rest did all the markings with quarter inch seam. So we will take this fabric to our sewing machine and uh, make a stitch. Start stitching from one point and uh, give back stitches on both the ends.
stitch on end also now clip the corners and uh, on the lining fabric open this seam and make a gentle crease this will be our guideline for uh, stitching now uh, insert your hand from this gap and pull the uh, this outer fabric outside poke the corners so hold your hold your lining fabric like this match the crease and give a top stitch to close this gap back stitch at the start back stitch at the end also cut the excess threads and then insert this lining fabric into the pouch so now our zipper pouch is ready see we have attached zippers very nicely with zipper tabs so we can use this zipper pouch for anything like storing our supplies yeah we made a pretty much good pouch so friend today we made a very basic pouch without any interfacing but in my coming videos i will be showing you how you can make your pouches sturdy with using different types of interfacing so uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching today's video uh, if you like this video then hit that like button and uh, i will see you again next week with another useful tutorial till then take care bye bye